Hey guys, even here and pre-judging of men's open bodybuilding at the Arnold Classic is done. And this is your top two. Yep, Nick Walker said he's going to win the Arnold Classic and I think he might have just done that. Now it's very close between these two guys. It's very close. I would go with Nick for sure. So from the back you can see the glute sharpness. The hamstring thickness, look at how big his hamstrings are, how connecting his legs are, this is like the, the most massive legs from behind ever, <laughs> Tom Platts and this, I mean this is in the ballpark, and now side tricep, this is where, where Steve uh, basically destroys Nick, because he does it in a better way, he shows wit, he turns around, he shows details, I think these guys really brought crazy level of conditioning, but the lighting kind of washed them, washed them away for some reason, they look kind of um, not super conditioned, but you can see that they are in great shape for sure. Uh, abs and thighs, I would go with Nick, even though his waist is blocky, he has really good abs and those thighs, man, shredded, shredded, peeled. Most muscular, also very close, again, because of the details, the conditioning, I go with Nick, I go with Nick. And yes, maybe Steve is a bigger man, but uh, pound for pound, the way their frames are, Nick, Nick's still thicker, he's bigger, imagine that, this guy turned pro like last year, and this year he's winning Auto Classic, he is winning it guys, I'm telling you, I did not expect this, I was like maybe, we don't know when to see him compared, nobody could have seen this, nobody could have known, but he said it, and now we gotta believe him, he also said it, he's going to win the Mr. Olympia, can he do that? <laughs> I don't know, let's wait and see, it's very possible at this point. So, from behind, I think that's why is Nick uh, winning this show, because the back details, the lower back, over, overall, like, the, the, the back thickness, he really gained. Like, from New York Pro, he made changes. How is this even possible, guys? Tell me. How, how is it even normal that somebody makes so much gain in such a short time span? God, he's incredible. His genetics are just alien genetics. This guy is not from Earth. So, here you can see in the side tricep, that's, I mean, it's a good pose for him, it's not bad, but Steve just looks like, like, a, like a freaking monster right here. So, yeah, yeah, this one, Steve is winning. And if Steve wins, he's qualified for the Mr. Olympia. Nick is already qualified, so I hope the judges won't consider that. I hope they will give the victory to the better man, and uh, I'm not sure that Nick is better, but, yeah, I think so, I believe that based on this video, it's not a super high quality video, it was very choppy, I'm sorry for that, but at least uh, it's not blurry, you know, we have some high quality photos, I'm gonna show it to you in a second, as soon as this, uh, this, this call out, this comparison is over, again, most muscular, details, conditioning, this is why I have Nick winning this show, yes, Arnold Classic is going to be won by Nick Walker, look at this most muscular, I have him winning it, what do you guys think? So again, right here you can see, these guys are in shape, they are all shredded, but it's just the structure that has Ian uh, out of that top two, his structure is not really that pretty, not that great, so he's gonna be probably third. In fourth, we actually have Justin Rodriguez, which is something I kind of expected, I told you guys, don't sleep on this, on this guy, because he made a lot of progress also since New York, but again, fourth at the Arnold, it's amazing. Uh, Steve really brought it, but Nick is just a whole different animal. And I say a whole different animal because of the rate he's making improvements, because how young he is, he's 26, he's, he's my age, he's my freaking age, can't believe this. Uh, but uh, as far as how close him and Steve are, it's very close, it's very close. It can, be, it can be Steve who wins it, we'll see the finals, if something changes for the better for Steve or the, for, or for the worse for Nick, then the outcome might be different than what I believe is going to be, but I'm pretty sure Nick is, uh, have, Nick is winning this show. Sergio Oliva spilled over, he came insanely big, but uh, spilled over, he was definitely not in great condition, and uh, Kim Williams, even though he was, as he says, 10 pounds lighter, still wasn't at the level of conditioning as the other guys are. So guys, tell me what do you think, this show is amazing, bodybuilding is awesome, right now one of the best shows, the best show this year so far for sure, I can't even imagine what Mr. Olympia is going to be, like, but I, I, I love the fact that actually William Bonac was not in, because this made it so much more um, not certain, you know, if William Bonac was here, I think he would have won this show, but now we have no idea really, but I think it's pretty safe to say that Nick Walker, at the age of 26, a year after he turned pro and promised 
that he is going to win the Arnold Classic, after people told him he's insane for saying that, after being told that he's cocky, that he's arrogant, he has done what he said. And you gotta respect him for this, you gotta love this guy, I'm a huge fan and now I'm a much much bigger fan, I think he's going to win this and it's, it's incredible and I love it. And I have a crazy case of goosebumps right now, that's how passionate I am about bodybuilding. If you guys love this video, please like it and for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much. Tell me what you think who is going to win, thank you so much for watching, once again all the best and bye bye.